and welcome to tonight's upload. My name is Emma. Subscribe for vlogs and hauls. We're on our holiday. We're in the Darwin Country Forest Resort. You're already I didn't say it. I've only just started filming. Mom, you're yeah, get out of it. You're, you're not in it anymore. I don't need you in it. Anyway. I'll leave the in the description box all the deets. Evidently, Jason Mumford was here the past week, but we haven't seen him. So I'm going to insert outside. Um, I'm going to insert now. Uh, I've got Young and Heart in the background, like a theme tune, but it's because we're watching... Uh, what's this prank called? Huh? You've been framed. <laughs> what, you do it at six o'clock in the morning on a holiday? But I'll insert a tour now of the bit, because if you've got kids, you know how messy it is. 30 seconds before you enter so I'll insert a clip now of a room tour before the kids descended and messed it up you walk in you got a nice little living room area you see there's a balcony look at the woodwork I bloody love it nice dining table big kitchen actually bigger than the one I'm at home which is slightly depression a door a cupboard full of cupboardy things like mops and then we go in here and we've got oh hello Madam, really nice little bedroom. <laughs> She's modelling a cupboard. <laughs> There's lots of cupboard space. I'm a bit sad we're only here for a couple of days actually. Because <laughs> oh god, someone's crying. Then this is the double bedroom. Really nice. It's lots nice. of love a lot of good cupboard space. And then I was going to show you the bathroom. It's so lovely. But a small person is wiping his bum. I'm going to ignore the small person, but it's got a nice big bath and got some products and stuff and a rather smelly poo has just been done. Lovely. Right, now back to Emma of the future. Bye, 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 bye. It's lovely, isn't it? We are, I don't know what we're going to do today. Might go for a walk, <laughs> might go swimming. We are going swimming. And we are going swimming. They've eaten Moana cereal, which has revolutionised their lives. <laughs> Yeah, but Erin didn't really like it. I, I squashed it all and up. And Ethan squashed it all up. Thank you very much. I think this vlog is going to be full of mayhem because we are on our holidays. Also, we need to have a serious chat about the house move. Oh, wouldn't, you, wouldn't you just love it if I turned, and here's my new house. <laughs> but no, we are just in a lovely lodge. We are going to move soon. I'll come back and talk about that later. Right, I'm going to go and get ready. Doing the standard family thing. I've been on holiday of getting up at the most ridiculous time and now I'm heading to the swimming bath at 8 o'clock in the morning bright light it's so sunny I've got the most I'm going to go for a little walk in the woods afterwards and I've got like a really nice flowery dress and then trainers on I look like Lily Allen basically I love just Lily trainers. Allen yeah and Erin's got a dress and trainers on as well so basically we just like we're like Lily Allen I can't think of any Lily Allen songs leave your favourite Lily, Lily Allen song Lily in the comments Allen. Yeah, I just still can't remember it. Got my magazines, take a break. Class A! Kids have been to me and I just sat and read Take a Break and read Tales of Over. Now I'm going to do the Tim Track. I don't know what the Tim Track is. We're going to find out. This is the reason why I have trainers on. I mean, Erin, look, we've got the same clothes on. Erin, look, pose. Oh no. And you dress your kids like yourself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just remember this, it says warm up and stretch is endurance work. I mean, I've got a flowery dress on. Cool down and stretch. I'm slightly terrified. Well, this is bloody lovely. This is bloody lovely. There's a little bit of water. There's like little activities. I think I've got a bit but too much pleasure on the left cheek. Oh, oh. I need to sort that out ASAP. Oh, I feel like this exercise is going to mean I can eat cake all day. My exercise just means just strolling in a denim jacket and a flower dress. I'm strolling, I'm strolling, I'm strolling. Go on, girl, get stuck in. You nearly done it. Yes. My turn. Lols. Come on, let's get set, go. How can you do it? Oh, I thought you were going to do it fast. Oh, 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 get those little legs going. Off 
to Bakewell of Bakewell Tart now. I'm expecting the streets to be paved and with icing. I expect cherries to be falling from the sky. Yes, and then we come back here. He's convinced we're going home. We're not going home. We're not trying to trick it in. We're going to go and have Bakewell Tart. Little fun fact, it's my husband's favourite cake of choice. Leave in the comments your favourite cake. I think my favourite cake is a... My favourite cake is a carrot cake. cake. And Ethan likes an icy, icing donut. What do you like, Ez? I like carrot cake and custard. Carrot cake and custard. And you like? Bake all time. Oh, we're in Bake all. Look, it's like in Paris where they have the little locks. And look at that view, man. That's amazing. Oh, the romance. I love it. So we've come to Bloomers. What are we going to have to eat? A tart, I've got none icing and all the rest got ice. Yeah, she didn't have ice on her, so I'm gonna, let's see if this is the first and only original bake or pudding. Right, we're gonna have a taste test. One. She's had one without ice on. Right, let's have a look. Oh, interesting yeah. way of eating it. Nice. Interesting way of eating it. I might have to have a little bit. Why did none of you tell me that Blake Bel Bakewell exists and is bloody lovely? We're off to a craft fair now. See some little fancy gardens. Crafts and gifts. Crafts and gifts. I bloody love tat. I tapped my, tapped my crack. Hashtag tapped my crack. Let's get that trending. As in my drug, not my bum crack. I don't know what I'm talking about. I think we all agree this sign was made for me. Everything is better in your pajamas. I think we should start a. <laughs> I think we should start a petition to wear pajamas in normal day life. I'll be honest. Quite a lot of the time, what I wear looks like pajamas anyway. We keep them quiet because they're driving us mad. We've told them to count all the different types of flowers. <laughs> Look at them coming in, it's so cute. One, two, three, four. Oh god, now I've got to start again. Four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> so they've gone round and they've counted the different types of flowers and they are both gonna say at the same time how many go. Okay, three, two, one. A hundred! Erin, you're supposed to say at the same time. A hundred! Erin. One hundred and five. Oh. One hundred and five. <laughs> You can't copy. No, no, I had to say it. You didn't count there. No, I did. <laughs> We've come to Matt Laugh Bath. Oh, we don't know what we're doing there. Ethan has had a full breakdown for 25 minutes, so we're all like frazzled and he's fallen asleep. Small humans get tired on holidays. Oh, it's very depressing. Good sunglasses, Erin. Yeah. Yes. We left Matlock and we had some chips. Everybody's calmed down. Yeah. Yes. Um, there's a lot of bikers here. If you know of Matlock, why are the bikers here? I don't know. I know we didn't go on the heights of Abraham, I quite got, frankly. I got a cow. It's too high. I and got Ethan wants to let you all know he's got a cow toy. Good. We've stopped for a little cheeky peen. And the hub's got some sort of flavoured cider, which is a lovely colour. Look at that. Oh, pale pink, beautiful, very manly. Gonna have a little drink before we head back to the old campsite. I'm very excited about Britain's Got Talent final tonight. It's mainly what I'm looking forward to. Can't wait. I seem to have got some burn, mum burn. I do it all the time. Anyway, whilst I'm sat here, and this is me and you, when you're watching this video, I hopefully will be in my new house. <gasps> Like, I've got to go home tomorrow and quickly pack and it's just a nightmare and I'm panicking and I'm terrified. Leave in the comments, happy new home or hope you settled in or did you have a breakdown? But what I want to know from you is I'm going to film a moving vlog, so that'll be coming soon. Um, do you want home hauls? Do you want room tours? I'd like to maybe get the house a little bit done before you see it. At the start of those videos, do you want one where it's just the bear so you could see what it was like before. If you've not seen the, a room tour of where I currently live or a house where I currently live, I'll leave it up there and down below. Go and have a little look at that. But it's just exciting times and I'm just so like proper, proper stressed. I predict in the moving vlog there will be tears. I'm a woman on the edge. So I'm gonna say goodnight to you so I can have a rest and we're gonna have a lovely walk and do that little track again and um, Doubtless I'll get a bit more some burnt and I'll see you tomorrow guys. Bye. Happy Sunday. I've woken up to more awful news on the telly today. It's just horrible. I don't want to talk about it too much because I don't want to give them any more attention than they need. But if you look in the description box, I've written a couple of blog posts about stuff like this in the past. 
So go and read there, those. And I've decided today I'm gonna squeeze my children till their heads pop off. That's the main plan. Um, Stephen's taking them swimming. And then we're gonna have a little, little bit of fun on the park, go on the little woodland trail again, I think. And then we're gonna head home uh, because the kids got school tomorrow, so we can't stay fine night. And also, we're moving. So I'm going to go and have a shower and try and wash the grim news away from my brain. I am writing a blog post about my house and it's made me cry. <laughs> I'm not going to cry on camera yet. Um, but I'll leave that in the description box as well. I don't know, did any of you find it really hard leaving your home where your babies grew up? It's just like such a tough thing. I don't know why it's affecting me so much, but anyway, I'm going to go and try and get a grip for goodness sake. We've come to the Tim track again. The trim track, not the Tim track, the trim track. This one is balancing on a beam. Cause she's cool. <laughs> and yay! Right, we're gonna have a walk, go to the park, and then go back and buy stuff for moving, like cleaning products. Have you enjoyed yourself? Yeah. Would you like to come here for a bit longer next time? Yeah, I'm gonna come here for two weeks. Oh, two weeks? She wants to come here for two weeks. What's that weird accent? Uh. <laughs> we are in the car on the way back. Ones are snoozing. So we're heading back home to get prepared. Um, Darwin Forest Kitchen Park was absolutely lovely. I wish you could have stayed a lot longer. Um, we went to the soft play this morning, there's also a big soft play there, there's bikes there, there's all sorts of stuff, it's just beautiful. Um, so thanks for having us to stay and hopefully we'll come again soon. But now it's time to get prepping for the move. <laughs> okay my loves, I'm going to have to leave you here because I've got to just pack. I will show you one thing that I just bought though that gave me such immense joy. My little girl's room. Oh, 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 a biscuit um, pillow, and then for my room. Oh, oh. A biscuit duvet, mama havas. You'll see them all in hall soon, right? See you when I see you. See you on the other side. I'm having a breakdown. Think of me. Follow me on Instagram for Insta stories of the move. I love ya. I'll see you soon. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. High five if you want to subscribe. And let's get moving.